The universe is way bigger than you think. For every single grain of sand there is on the earth, there are 10,000 stars. What I'm trying to say, ow, what I'm trying to say is we are very, very small. But what is not small is the subscribe button. So, so please uh, just click it. I post new videos every day at 2.30 p.m. California time. So get here as soon as I post and I'll respond to your comments. And yeah, comment down below how old you are. Just let me know a little how big the universe really is. Okay. Hey, ooh, she was cute. Where, where, where are you going, girl? Where, where? Okay, all right, so we're zooming out. That's Earth, there we go. Got the moon and got, <gasps> oh, okay. There's our, there's our solar system. There's our little galaxy. And then just keeps zooming out. <gasps> oh, okay, that's our, that's, there's our quadrant. That's our gal, bro, there's that many more galaxies. Are you serious? What? Okay. There has to be aliens out there. There has to be, man. Look look how big, jeez. And then outside of that, there's millions more. Okay, all right, well fine. Why are we so small, man? We need to get up into space. We need to start exploring. Where the heck's Rick and Morty? I mean, we need them to help us get out there. Elon Musk, it's up to you, my boy, okay? I mean, come on, you talking about Mars. Forget Mars, we gotta get out the galaxy. This message is for you, Elon. I need you to figure it out. We need to start traveling at light speed. Anyway. This is what humans would look like living on different planets. Up first is Mars. The gravity on Mars is lower than on Earth and it's further from the Sun. You would be a lot taller with a robust build to compensate for poor gravity and would have bigger eyes to better perceive the far off Sun. Huh. And to protect itself from radiation, your body would have to switch its pigmentation from melanin to keratinoids. Racist. So you would probably have an orange colored skin. Next up is Jupiter. What? Living on the surface of Jupiter might prove to be challenging since there's no actual surface. The planet is entirely made of gas. So with high pressure, extreme temperatures, and a fluid environment, we will have to draw some inspiration from deep water drillers who deal with the same conditions but on lesser scale. Huh. We would be isopods with shells to protect us from Jupiter's radiation, and we would have skin in between our fingers to help us swim. I don't know about you, but I do not want to live on Jupiter. Next up is Saturn, which is also a gaseous planet. It's made of hydrogen and helium with no solid land and powerful winds. And the only way to move within Saturn's thick fog is by flopping around like a jellyfish. You would have an umbrella shaped bell to propel yourself up and no skeleton because if you did, it would be crushed by the pressure. That's it. That's how you end your bedtime stories. Come on, man. I don't want to look like this. Uh, guys, we're not moving to Saturn. Elon, cancel it. Never mind, man. We, we, we stay in our butts right here. That just seems terrible. This is even worse. My boy looked like he got out from the gym, but then is a hunchback. <laughs> sorry, sorry, there's nothing wrong with hunchback. It's just, um, <clears throat> you look like a turtle that went to the gym and got in shape. And then this dude, you look like one of the monsters from Space Jam. Just these aliens playing basketball. What different planets would look like flying past Earth? Ooh, this better be good. Okay, so Mercury and a little like moon. Okay, okay, okay. Venus. Dang. Mars. Yes, Mars is smaller than Earth, so right? Jupiter. Dang, fatty. Just taking up the whole sky. Saturn's huge. Uranus. Uranus. That's a big Uranus. That's a big planet. You got Neptune. Dang. Where's Pluto? I'm just kidding. No, Pluto is not a planet. It's a small dwarf, or that's what they called it scientifically. They called it like the dwarf planet, or something like that. Anyway, I swear, if I go outside and I see this, I know it's the apocalypse. I'll be honest with y'all, okay? If I go out and I see this, I'ma shoot it. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna get like a Glock or something. I'm just gonna start, bah, 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 bah. see if it does something. Get like the laser pointer, you know, just point the laser at it, see if it reflects back. I don't know. We used to point lasers at the moon to try to blow it up. It didn't work. Ah, Obviously. This story keeps me up at night and it's a real one. I'll keep you up at night. Her, just her. I will keep her up all night. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So in the early 90s, a woman named Jerry went to a psychotherapist named John Mack because she was having recurring nightmares of UFOs. 
Then one night, her two-year-old son started screaming in terror in his room. She ran in to check on him and he claimed that owl monsters were touching his legs. And when she asked where the owl monsters were now, he claimed that they were in a boat in the sky. So Jerry starts thinking that maybe her family is being visited by aliens. She kind of brushed it off at first, but then one night her daughter has this experience. Oh. She was practicing reading for school and she had to time herself in 10 minute intervals and see how far she could read. So she's timing herself for 10 minutes, marking how far she read. Timing herself for 10 minutes, marking. Timing herself for 10 minutes, and then she looks up and an hour has gone by. Mm. There's 50 minutes of time she can't account for, which apparently is kind of common in people who have been visited by aliens. No, girl. We seeing some ugly aliens in the background today. What is that? It looks like a bad Halloween costume. Bro, you look like you ate some bad sushi. Somebody help them out, wash them off, hit them with the water hose. Ah, look where we paused the video, girl. You making a funny face. This is crazy. There's people being abducted and they don't even know. In all seriousness, don't abduct me. Just leave me alone. If aliens or anybody's gonna interfere in my life just interfere in like you know getting me to 20 million subscribers you aliens can make that happen right come on come on please please pretty please anyway earth is large but the universe is larger okay there's mars venus earth is bigger yeah dang dang you're right okay jupiter is just straight up huge and what these stars are massive oh my gosh it keeps going I don't think, I don't think we're understanding how huge that star right there is compared to us. Cause Earth is already huge, but there's stars that are like a million times bigger. And there's a million, hundreds of billions of stars just in our galaxy. And there's millions of other galaxies. Okay, you know what? I give up, man. I mean, dang, trying to trying to get out in space and see what's going on. Space is just too big. It's too crazy. Look at all these other universes. Can somebody just come back from the future and like give us some technology? And we promise we won't mess it up. We just want to travel through space. I want to be able to go somewhere far. I want to be able to teleport. I feel like we're the laughing stock of the universe. Like, like aliens are probably looking at us. They're like, these guys can't even leave their planet. <laughs> They're making fun of us because we're stuck. So sad. You've probably seen pictures like these online. Places that feel kind of oddly familiar or even nostalgic, but also feel uncomfortable. This is the phenomenon of liminal space. Liminal spaces are versions of spaces that we feel like we've been in before or that we've seen, but we can't really explain how. These are often spaces that we've kind of moved through in passing. Somebody's back there lives, like Hollywood, in that middle photo. Airports, or even malls. But it becomes unnerving to see these spaces in a context other than how we know them, where they don't have furniture or they're dimly lit or there aren't people. Many people report that they often feel kind of dreamlike to look at, almost as if they shouldn't exist in this context. It's something that sits in the in-between of what's familiar and what's real, but also something that's not right. It's not entirely understood why these spaces evoke feelings of uneasiness, or why we may feel like we've almost been there before, making the mystery of liminal space just downright strange. What? Man, they, you cannot end your stories just like that. End your sentences like a normal person. Don't just be like, this feels a little bit strange. Like, like, dang it, man, uh, come on. End with the period. These just look like the back rooms, man. It's just the back rooms going on. We gotta be careful. No clipping out of reality, okay? Everybody just, you know, stay with me, stay here. I swear, I'm tired of your little, your little cord microphone, just like, all right guys, so today we're gonna be looking at it. Man, get a regular mic, like me. My mic's like way up here, you see? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> alien on the street. A homeless alien? What is this? Oh, heck no, bro, mm -mm, no, you better leave it alone. If that was real and I see this, I'm, I'm, uh, bro, proceed with caution. Actually, run away, like, get out of there. It's not worth the camera footage, it's not worth the video. If I see this thing just walking all creepy like that, and then when it turns and looks at you, and it's just like, oh, no, no, bro, I'm gone, I'm gone. You know that thing's gonna just attack you. It's gonna grab you by the neck, and then it's gonna snatch your spine out your back. I need you to watch this video, and then I'm gonna explain what's going on. Wow. Um. What is going on? What is going on? Your mama. Some people believe that this is part of Project Bluebeam. 
Project Bluebeam is basically this huge conspiracy theory that the government is going to fake an alien invasion. Slash, they were gonna use artificial intelligence to create a second coming. Basically, they're gonna scare us into a new world order. They want a totalitarian world government. This is the dude that brought this whole thing to attention. He was a Canadian investigative journalist that basically found out that NASA and the government were doing this together. Now, I don't know if it's true or not. This video is probably gonna get flagged and probably taken down. But with all the supposed UFO sightings, not even this. It's just a little fishy. Oh, it's fishy. Yeah, uh, yeah, girl, uh, you might be right. I, I don't know. But I'm sure that they'd appreciate it if we mind our business, okay? So I'm not gonna say nothing about it. You ain't gonna get me in trouble. Not today. Look, if the government wants to throw fake aliens out at it, uh, fine, go ahead. I, I don't care. I'm, uh, do what you want. Dang. Just leave me out of it, man. Just leave me alone. I didn't do nothing. Why they put Jesus in the background? Is that part of the Project Blue Beam? Girl, you need to explain yourself, okay? Otherwise, I'm gonna slap the eyebrows off your face. Scary things in space okay black hole that's racist man jeez what because they steal it or they suck everything into themselves you know they just yeah <clears throat> quasars quasar quasars quasars what are quasars don't worry guys we'll look it up voids oh yeah voids is like there's just nothing there's like no stars so it's just black and you can't see anything gamma ray burst it's like space explosions that's scary man like if we went to space ooey mama ooey mwa mwa <laughs> what is it mwa mwa how do you pronounce this a mwa mwa neutron star jimmy neutron Dang, space, you're, you're out of control, okay? You're, you're canceled. I am officially canceling space, all right? We're not gonna deal with this. We didn't sign up for it, man, okay? Uh, we're not gonna tolerate it. All this dang uh, space explosions and spaceships and, and creeping asteroids and stuff, not today. We stay in our butt on Earth where everything's peaceful and normal and perfect. Okay, we got some problems, but anyway. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one.